Believe it or not, that is a speaker stand. I would know so because I spent the past month uh, learning new mesh modeling techniques and 3D printing to create it. It's not just for looks, as we'll be testing its vibration absorption as it's been printed in flexible filament. I first saw Voronoi tessellations in different 3D models online, and I was really fascinated. It had this organic web-like structure to it. And this type of pattern is found on draft skin and made me think of one of my favorite documentaries. There's an episode of Abstract which covers Neri Oxman and her team's fascinating work at MIT Media Lab. I'm inspired by how they utilize biomimicry by incorporating nature into their designs. <laughs> now, like, they're creating biopolymers and heaps of sciencey stuff, but there's something that she said that struck a chord. I tell the team members, you have to be ready for your project to appear in the atrium of the Museum of Modern Art and at the same time on the cover of Nature and Science. We don't do either. And that got me thinking, can I design a speaker stand that looks nothing like a speaker stand, but functions perfectly as one? See, when it comes to speakers, there's three main rules to placement that's going to dictate our design. Number one, form an equilateral triangle between each speaker and the listener with the speakers pointing towards them. This creates good stereo separation and is usually the easiest to achieve. Number two, tweeters or high frequency drivers should be at ear level. To achieve this in the past, I've drilled my freestanding stands through the desk. But when I got drawers, the stands wouldn't fit, so I opted for foam pads with a slight tilt. I once raised the speaker up off the desk, and this falls into our third rule, which is don't put the speakers on the desk. Sitting on a desk, it's super easy to get a reflection point from a hard surface, but also vibrations can transfer into the desk and resonate with other objects, muddying up your sound. So placing the speakers on a stand that can absorb its vibrations is ideal. Now I'm aware that there's more like rules than that, so don't go off in the comments. These are just the three main ones that I like to adhere to, and the reason why I made the speaker stands. I started off in Fusion 360 modeling a cylindrical shape that I had in mind, but after failing to find a good free Voronoi method, I turned to Reddit and someone pointed me to an online Voronator. And this was super cool because it gave that effect. It was quick and dirty, but I didn't have control over the parameters and the thickness of the stems. And if I was going to hold the weight of a speaker, uh, I need to have manual control. I searched the web looking for a free solution, somewhat outdated or they now cost money, uh, but God came clutch on a YouTube search. A video from Design by Nadim highlighted the exact steps to take to get the desired effect in Blender. It took a month of modeling on and off to learn Blender and the different mesh modifiers to create the look I was after. I set up a couple prototype prints, but they failed because my print server kept timing out, but that kind of worked in my favor because I quickly realized that they weren't going to hold the speaker's weight. I increased the thickness of the print and now could hold the weight of the speaker. However, the top edge was a bit too thin to print correctly and the hourglass figure had to be reduced as it was sagging too much. After making the adjustments to the shape and learning how to sculpt the top edge, I sent my final design to the printer. It took three days to print and a couple hours of cleaning up. This was my first time printing flexible filament and I probably should have done some tests with smaller designs just to dial in my settings. But I was able to tidy up manually and then paint over any areas that I burnt with the lighter trying to smooth off edges. Okay, so before we test vibrations, let's look at each competitor under the microscope. Here we've got the foam and it's got this like webby type mesh structure. It's three dimensional and as we push, it stretches and absorbs that impact. Now, the 3D model, the infill, uh, the inside of it. So if we have a look here, we can see this webby type structure throughout the inside of the material. So hopefully the 3D print absorbs vibrations as the inside is mimicking that foam's composition. So let's test it and find out. I ran the test with the speaker sitting on the desk, foam pad, and printed stand. My phone clamp to the desk will record accelerometer data to track vibrations. Now, this is really cool. All three results look similar. Where the kick bass hits, you can see those peaks, but have a look at the scale. There's a big difference between them. The measurement being taken is acceleration in meters per second, so how much is the phone being moved in a direction? I logged the raw data and extracted the peaks for x-axis movement and then averaged them. Sitting on the desk, the vibration hit 0.19 meters a second. On the phone, 0.6 and the 3D printed stand, 0.3. Bro, the, <laughs> this, my stand is twice as good as the foam stands. What? I do want to point out that these stands are just cheap online foam stands, so audiophile grade ones 
might perform better. However, my stand only contacts the speaker at four points, whereas foam is contacting the entire speaker base. The tweeters aren't quite at ear level if I sit up straight, but are if I recline. So what do I think of them? Um, dude, I'm pretty stoked. Especially those vibration test results. Like I didn't think I was gonna take as long to model and design it, but I'm glad that I took the extra steps um, and made those tweaks. And I'm just really happy to have made something custom. Uh, and going back to the inspo of Neri at the start of this video, they look arty, but they also serve a function. I'm thinking of a second version though of the stands with larger holes, as I think the current shape is a bit busy on my desk, and I would also add a slight tilt to make up for the height limitation of my 3D printer. So yeah, keep a look out on the background of future videos to possibly see them. Speaking of future vids, next week I'm going to check out my wife's desk setup. I'm going to break that one down for y'all, and if you want something right now that's like audio tech, um, DIY speaker panels, speaker panels, acoustic panels, check that one out, or the bass shaker chair mod. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Dude, this is like some Pantene ad business.